So for now, the most important thing is to decorate Bumblebee a little bit. So we asked Michelle to ride on USA on our nice box. Yay! Yay. All right. <laughs> Happy and alive. USA. 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 Well, we're getting a lot of countries on there now. Flag. Oh yeah, we just installed on the back here on the pole our USA flag. Our little bodyguard as well. He's yeah. taking care of, of Bumblebee. <laughs> this is Bumblebee 2.0. We also got some stickers from the Fun Bike Center. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Eight ball tires, the guys that put our Trail Max missions on. Okay. Eight ball tires, pride of place. And also one of our amazing supporters from the channel, David Hampton, has sent us some stickers. Look at these, look at these, they're so cool. Lavi and Ollie, <laughs> happy and alive. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> and he also sent us some of his own what he calls Beard of Wisdom stickers. Look at this, how cool is that? So, David, you get to go <laughs> on the very, very front of Bumblebee, right there on the windshield. It's a perfect place. So that as we ride along, we can have a little bit of your Beard of Wisdom guiding us along. Wow, look at that. Pride of place, David. I think we can probably fit two of these ones on. Perfect. So cool, look at that. Happy and alive. <laughs> Happy and alive. Happy and alive. Right here. Yes. This will keep you safe and happy and alive. That's good. For your That's journeys. Good. Look at that. We're there. And there. And there. And there. And here. <laughs> Bumblebee is looking so good. Look at these tires. Look. We're on full tread for the first time in such a long time. And the last set of these lasted us for 18,000 miles, which is absolutely unbelievable. So we started on Dunlop Trail Max missions, and now we're back on Dunlop Trail Max missions. It's really cool. And you can see our shiny new suspension here. All fixed up, all cleaned up by Suspension 101, and everything just looks super nice and shiny. The guys from Fun Bike Center, they really cleaned up Bumblebee, got everything really nice. So, wow, we couldn't be more ready for this next leg in the US. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Watch out for all those crazy. It's heavy. Oh my god! It's heavy. Start eating. <laughs> Doug and Michelle basically gave us so much food. They've packed us up with food. Okay. <laughs> I will miss you. <sighs> okay. There we go. We'll see you on Friday, guys. Yeah? We see love you. Guys. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <See> you. <laughs> <Ciao>. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, ciao, bye bye, <laughs> ciao. Oh, can we turn around and go back? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been an absolutely beautiful. How many days? Five, six days in six, San Diego. Six days, yes. Six days in San Diego. Wow, yes, we had such a good time. Oh my God, we had an amazing time. I think this is like with the greatest thing when you have actually a YouTube channel that you meet awesome people like that, you know. Otherwise, we would never ever had the chance to to meet Michelle and Doug. It's That's true. <laughs> oh, we forgot to do our intro. Oh. <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 403 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in sunny San Diego, California in the USA. This will be our first proper ride in the USA. I'm not even sure who has right of way here. <laughs> I think they do, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get used to how this works because Doug told me that you can actually turn right on red on traffic lights unless it tells you you can't it says that you can always turn right on a red traffic light so this is a new rule that we haven't had before but after we arrived in san diego we took a bit of time to get bumblebee fixed up and ready for this next leg
but also to see the sights of San Diego, to eat really amazing food and just chill out with the amazing Doug and Michelle. Yeah, Doug, you're a very good tour guide. <laughs> yeah, and those guys just welcomed us into their home. We've been chatting online uh, for a while. They're big supporters of the channel and it was like we knew them when we arrived. And like Michelle always said, she just wants to see us actually succeed. So <laughs> we have to make sure that we succeed. <laughs> yeah, you guys have helped us get like literally 100% ready. We are like, we have everything we need now <laughs> to hit the next leg, to get to Canada and then get across to Asia and get back to Europe. I think we have everything we need. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so thank you so much guys for our first stop in the USA. <laughs> USA, USA. USA. <laughs> but now, unfortunately, after six beautiful days it is time to hit the road so let me show you guys where we're heading so this is our new map of the western united states and we are here right at the beginning and our mission is to head up through california across through nevada and arizona before turning north through utah idaho oregon washington to reach the canadian border around here so our first mission, our new mission here in the USA is to reach Las Vegas because I don't know if you guys heard from a previous episode, but we're getting married in Vegas. <laughs> Us too, yes. <laughs> so it's Monday today and on Friday, we are getting married at the Little Vegas Wedding Chapel. We're getting married by Elvis Presley, Woo! who's gonna sing us a couple of songs. So we've got three rides to get to Las Vegas, and that'll get us there a couple of days before the wedding. So the first thing that we're gonna go to see is the Hollywood sign. So we are heading up the coast from San Diego to LA. After that, we'll be going up to the giant Sequoia Forest. Now, the Sequoia National Forest, which actually has the largest tree in the world, the General Sherman tree. That whole park is closed uh, because the winter storms have destroyed the roads. Oh look, here's the Mormon temple. Beautiful, hey? Wow, look at that. Wow, it looks like a Disney. That's so cool. So instead of the Sequoia National Forest, we are heading to the Kings Canyon National Park, which is another national park just up from Sequoia National Park. And that national park has plenty of giant sequoia trees as well for us to see and actually has the second largest tree in the world which is called General Grant. So we probably won't reach all the way up there today. I think the aim will be to head to LA, go see the Hollywood sign and then get up as close as we can to this forest and maybe find a camp somewhere. Yes, because accommodation here in America is really expensive, but I saw on iOverland a couple of free camps. So hopefully we will reach one of those for tonight. And then tomorrow we'll see the Sequoia National Park and then start making our way towards Vegas. Yes. So we routed at the moment to the Hollywood sign and uh, Google Maps says it will take us two hours. It's already, oh my God, it's already 10.45. So better hit the road, let's go. All right, our first fill up in the US. And uh, this is gonna be interesting because this will be the first time in such a long time that we've had to fill up our own fuel. So they've got three options here. They've got Shell Regular, Shell Plus, and then Shell V-Power Nitro Plus. Um, yeah, so it's like 87 octane, 89 octane, and 91 octane. So I think we'll just go for the regular, hey? Yes. And look, there's nobody to help us. It's the first time that we have to do it on our own since, wow. Yeah, since uh, Morocco. I can't even remember filling up this, this bike on my own. Okay, please remove cart. Push button to select fuel grade, push. Okay, I've chosen that one. Lift handle to start fueling. So, the price is $5.20 per gallon. And a gallon is like 3.75 liters. $1.40 per liter. Okay, I mean, that's better than European prices. It's slightly more expensive than it was in Mexico. It's our first American school bus. <laughs> yes! There it is, and it's actually, that is actually a school bus, like Oceanside Unified School District. Cool. It's not for show, that's actually a real school bus. 
<laughs> no, it's like the same one from the movies. Everything that we've seen so far in California is just straight out of a movie. <laughs> Yes. Straight out of a movie. And that's where we're heading today. We're heading to the land of movies. We're heading to Hollywood, baby. Unbelievable. But these highways are pretty crazy. Look at them. They're like four lanes. Their traffic's moving really fast, even though we're doing the speed limit right now. 65 miles an hour. Yes, that's true. And everyone else is doing more. And everywhere they've got these giant USA flags in front of stores. There's one over there. I mean, you almost can't go a few hundred meters on the road without coming across a giant flag. Yeah, this place is absolutely crazy, but it's really cool. Blue sky, sunshine, nice cool breeze. I mean, you can't really get better conditions for riding a motorcycle than California. So we're just stopping for our first break before we get into downtown LA. We have so much cool stuff from Michelle and Doug. Oh my God, have a look at this. We have some olives. Olives. A gummy honey bar. We have some crackers with avocado and really nice cheese. It's actually English cheddar. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. So it's really cool. I don't know. Is it actually from England, you think? I think this is cheddar. Mature English cheddar. Super crazy. And then we have uh, some crisps as well. And for dessert, we have some sliced mango. We're living like the kings. For our first snack break here in the US, <laughs> this is a good spread. This is a smorgasbord. Oh my God, we are driving down the 101. This is it. <laughs> this is Highway 101. <laughs> and right there, over there to the left, is downtown LA the city skyline yes baby we made it and there's no way you guys will see in the camera at the moment but I just saw the Hollywood sign on the hill over in Hollywood that way and actually in seven miles we're gonna be coming off onto Hollywood Boulevard I feel like I know all of these places like San Bernardino I'm sure that's come up in a movie Probably. Many times. <laughs> and you know what? The traffic doesn't seem like that bad compared to what I was imagining. Yeah, it's true. I mean, okay, it's slowing down a bit now. It's getting busier. But I mean, look, we're in downtown LA and the traffic's moving. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is. The road system here in America is incredible. Well, I can tell you, they've got a lot of lanes, that's for sure. Uh, yes. A lot of lanes going on. I mean, look how many lanes on just this highway. Wow. So many lanes. Oh, the Hollywood sign. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's just over there, on the hill. Incredible! So cool. But hopefully we can get a lot closer. We're trying to sort of route ourselves towards it so that we'll be coming up under the hill. But yeah, it's definitely there. I can see it. I can see it too. Well, we are like six minutes from the Hollywood sign. And actually, okay, the houses that look quite like nice. I thought they looked like way like like nicer or richer or more like castles or I don't know what I was imagining but it looks quite like nice and calm actually. I thought there'd be a lot more fences and you couldn't get to the front doors and stuff but like a lot of these houses are just like quite yeah normal houses you can just go and knock on the front door and yeah. this is like the Hollywood Hills right here so these houses are like crazy expensive so expensive really cool look at this colorful house here Griffith Park so okay. Griffith Park is the park just underneath the Hollywood sign and uh, there's an observatory up here called Griffith Griffith Observatory and we're heading up to the observatory and from there we should be able to see the Hollywood sign which is a little bit further up the hill. I don't really know where we're allowed to go, where we're not allowed to go, but we'll just carry on and see what happens. Yeah. We're just going to keep riding until we get close to it. Yeah, it's just so funny because it's not very crowded or anything, you know? You Would just you feel think like... that you're like in the middle of Hollywood right now? It's That's totally crazy. different to what I was expecting. I was expecting like, you know, cars everywhere, people everywhere. This yeah. is just like pretty chill. Look, there's just a, people walking their dogs, going for walks. It's pretty nice actually. Yeah, totally.
It doesn't feel like LA here. It doesn't feel like we're in the middle of a city. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It feels like actually so nice and quiet and green yes. and just chilled. Wow, but the parking is apparently ten dollars per hour. Whoa, okay. <laughs> we, we, we're not gonna park then, hey. No. I'm gonna, we're gonna stop, take a picture. Yes. Yes. I've no idea where the Hollywood sign's gone now. I've lost it. <laughs> Can you see it? No, I can't. Where is it gone? I don't know. When you get to the stop sign, there's free parking for you guys to park on. Oh, okay. Okay. We, Thank we, you. We were okay. just looking for a, a good place where, where we could see the Hollywood sign. Yeah, Hollywood sign's right there. So literally right where you park it, you'll see the sign right there. Oh, oh cool. cool. Thank you. <laughs> There it is! Still quite far away! I thought we'd gotten closer. How do you get like underneath the sign? I don't know, maybe you're not allowed anymore. I don't know. You see that street there? Uh -huh. Right? And it bends round and goes up the hill. I reckon we should try riding up that road and let's see if we can go. It's a massive city, hey? It's crazy. There's so much going on here. Look at it. It's just a sea of buildings over there all the way to the coast. We can just about see the, the ocean in the background. But then it just stops and then you've got Griffith Park, which is just beautiful and green. Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah, it's a pretty impressive place, definitely. So we can walk around here and see the city. And then we'll see if we can get a little bit closer or not. There you go, the Griffith Observatory. Impressive. Yeah. It is nice and sunny and this is, oh sorry. It's a nice way to do a little bit of sightseeing. <sighs> that was close. Oh, that was close. I mean, the roads here are very narrow, very narrow, and very windy. This is like a quiet countryside street. Oh, except you've got these mega, mega mansions everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. Look at these streets. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey. No way. That's really steep. Look at these houses. Who's living here? I, I don't know. I don't think they want you to know who's living in these houses. Yes, look at this street. Yeah, it's hilly here. It is. It is the Hollywood Hills. There's a Tesla coming. Who's right. in there? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody cool. was waving. Who was that? There you go. George Clooney. <laughs> oh, it's George Clooney. Hi, George. <laughs> Whoa, there it is. <laughs> Up ahead. We're on the right street now. We're getting a bit closer. Yes. It's right there at the top of the street. That's awesome. And actually, Guess what? We just hit 28,000 miles on the road. <laughs> Yay! So we just spoke to a couple that are actually living just here. They're like, yeah, we live just here. And they told us to go up this road. They said, this is pretty much the closest you can get to the Hollywood sign. There's a place called Ledgewood Drive. There's really, really big hills here. So Ledgewood Drive, straight, yep. But yeah, we've got to be a bit careful. It's very thin roads, otherwise us and George Clooney are going to have a crash. I don't want to be crashing into George Clooney. Okay, let's be super careful around here. Oh, wow, look, right up ahead. Let me see if I can see it a good way. Oh, I can just see like, Hollywood. Yeah, I <laughs> just, just about see Hollywood. Yes, yeah, Slavy and Hollywood. <laughs> we made it. We made it. This is the closest we can get to the Hollywood sign. Yeah, I think so. But we are now pretty close. We can't really get any further, unfortunately. 
no. And it says local traffic only, and yeah. I think that probably somebody's going to stop us. Yeah. Wow, that was pretty tough to get here, though. Yeah. It's really not too easy. We made it to Hollywood. <laughs> I just can't believe how green it is around here. Yeah. It's not like they've packed to the houses in hay. I mean, look, this is like prime real estate. <coughs> but no, they just leave it nice and open. And that just makes the whole place just really nice. I'm really impressed, Hollywood. Really impressed. Goodbye, Hollywood sign. Bye bye, Hollywood. It's so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, hey? Eh? And we got our picture. <laughs> I was like, when well, we go to California, we have to get that. We got it, baby. We got it. <laughs> so now we have a long drive ahead, long ride ahead, because we are heading out of LA now towards the Kings Canyon National Park. But it is 237 miles away uh, to get to Grant's Grove, where the biggest of the giant sequoia trees are. So I don't think we're going to get there today, but we can at least start riding, get out of LA, get back into the countryside and uh, get as far as we can. Universal Studios. That's so cool. That's where all the stuff is happening, hey? All oh. the good movies. Oh yeah. So it looks like we kind of hit rush hour heading out of LA. We spent a little bit too much time driving around the Hollywood and now it's quarter to five and it looks like everyone is heading this way. It's looking like it's really getting super busy. And I can see on Google, it's just red up ahead. We are still four hours away from the National Park actually, so that's quite a long way still. We still got a few hours until sunset, so we'll just ride and see if we can sort of beat this rush hour traffic and kind of get away from the city and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. We just stopped at a rest area just off the highway and we're having our second snack. These beautiful Nutella crackers. <laughs> Look at the pot that Doug and Michelle left us. <laughs> oh, that's so much Nutella. Mm. Eating like kings, I tell you. We love you guys. We love you. That's a good snack break. So we've just hit nearly 200 miles for the day and we have three hours more to reach the uh, Kings Canyon National Park. So we reckon we'll go probably half that distance, maybe an hour and a half more, and then we'll call it a day, and then we'll ride the rest in the morning. I actually would love to just sleep here, but we have to go a little bit further today. Yeah, hopefully we can find something like this in yeah. an hour and a half. Nice quiet rest area, some trees around. Yeah, that would be good. The sun is just setting on the horizon over there and we've had a little look online and there aren't really that many options around here. There's a, a lot of farmland. There's not really any eye over land or wild camping or anything like that. We have found one paid campsite. Uh, we tried to call them but they didn't answer so we're not really sure if it's going to work but that's coming up in about 15 miles all right it looks like we're coming up to the place i think this is already it here oh yeah okay okay let's check it out 
Uh, here we go, K-O-A. I thought it was like Campsites of America, but it's with a K, so I don't really know what that's about. Okay. Night registration is just there. Late arrivals welcome. Oh, sounds nice. Fill out completely a night registration envelope. Select a space from the site map. Determine fees from the price list and put in an envelope. $42. Hmm. Is it weekday? Yeah. Well, at least it's weekday. All right. Good evening, guys. We made it. Have been alive. This campsite here is really incredible. Like, it's really big. It's really well maintained. It's actually beautiful, but it's really expensive as well. Like, I can't believe it. Just to pitch up the tent is like 42 US dollars. That's like more than most rooms that we paid for. But we did check on booking.com and the cheapest room in the area is like $60. Yeah. We either had the choice to keep riding into the night for like another hour or stop here and pay the money. And after so much riding today, more than 300 miles, I was just ready to call it a day. But what a nice day to ride around Hollywood and the Hollywood Hills and seeing all the crazy houses and cars. And yeah, it's like not what I expected at all, but it was super beautiful. And I'm super happy that we have seen it. We made it to the Hollywood sign. Yes. I'm super happy that we made it there. And it was a really cool ride, actually. We have a really nice light here which is actually a um, power bank donated from Doug. Thanks Doug. <laughs> Our first night is a camping night in the dark so yes. it's really useful. Yes. So we're just gonna make some dinner. We've got the water boiling. We've got some noodles, like yeah. pot noodles. We got from Michelle donated a bunch of noodles and this one here is like the Vietnamese so will be nice. It's gonna be yeah. good. <laughs> and then tomorrow, we've got some giant trees to see. Mm. So it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time. Happy dance. <laughs> here in the US is to reach Las Vegas in three rides because we are getting married <laughs> and we're getting married on Friday it's Monday today in uh, five days oh okay